Hello, it's Ryan from 2MinuteTennis.net, and in this video, I'm going to show you Gail Monfils and Novak Djokovic and what you can learn from their serve to help improve your serve. Now, this video is courtesy of Essential Tennis, so thank you, Ian, for allowing me to use this video, and make sure you stick around to the end, because I'm going to show you exactly how to do this in front of the camera. So one of the most important things you can do is stay out of the waiter's tray position, and you can copy this right here from Gail Monfils. Now, notice the tip of his racket is pointing at the camera. In fact, it's slightly pointing inside the court from the camera's positioning. This is so important. This is called palm down, where, this, where the strings point down against the ground, and you can actually put a ball in the throat of the racket. This is typically not done by recreational players. Recreational players usually go across the feet and actually point the tip of the racket at the back fence. Those who go palm up and go, to, go into that waiter's tray position. I want you to film yourself from the side and see as you bring your racket up, if you can point the tip of the racket right here at the camera. When you do that, that ensures that you're using the proper throwing motion on your serve. And if you haven't already, subscribe to Two Minute Tennis and hit that like button. And here's Novak doing the exact same thing. Notice right here where the tip of his racket is actually pointing along the baseline. If we just look at where the baseline is, here's the baseline, here's where the tip of his racket is. The tip of his racket is pointing parallel to the net. That's what allows them to get into the proper trophy position, knocking off the birthday hat, and just hitting awesome serves. So I put some painter's tape on the ground to demonstrate the baseline to give you some perspective. So I'm serving against this wall. And when you line up and you prepare to serve, I want you to have the idea that as you lift your racket up, you're going to point the tip of the racket the same direction your body is facing. The mistake I see players make, and when they go into that waiter's tray position where they immediately toss the ball and their strings face the sky, which typically precedes the push type of serve, the mistake is players will point the tip of the racket at the back fence. So if you're the back fence, because I'm serving this way, players point the tip of the racket at the camera or the back fence, and then they immediately point the tip of the racket the opposite direction we just saw Novak and Gail doing. You want to lift the racket pointing the tip of the racket the same direction your body is facing. You know who else does this? John Isner. When Isner brings his racket up, tip of the racket is pointing the same side as his chest. So practice tossing the ball. Now, I'm not, not going to toss super high <laughs> because I'm in my basement, but I want you to toss and then point the tip of the racket the same direction as your chest. Now, Gail's a little bit like this where you saw Novak go a little more across his feet, but then still get into that same position where whether you do like the more, you know, half, uh, half type of swing or three quarters or you go a little bit farther back the way Novak does, it doesn't matter. Tip of the racket points the same direction as your body. Now I switched the baseline just so you can get the perspective that we saw with Gail and Novak. And when you begin serving, I'm serving this way, when you begin serving, have the mentality that you're going to lift the racket up before you knock off the party hat. Lift the racket up with the tip of the racket pointing the same direction as your chest. If you eliminate the palm up position and you learn to lift the racket the way Isner, the way Monfils, the way Novak does, there's no doubt you're going to gain confidence, win more matches, and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from 2MinuteTennis.net. You got this.